Atrium Health, created as the Charlotte Mecklenburg Hospital Authority in 1940, has served as the safety net hospital for the region for many years. Even now, 80% of the uninsured in Mecklenburg County seek care at our facilities. Atrium Health has grown to become one of the largest health care systems in the South, serving both urban and rural populations. In 2012, the Levine Cancer Institute was launched to concentrate all aspects of cancer care for the Atrium Health System. Since its creation, the Levine Cancer Institute has been the provider of cancer care for more than 15,000 patients each year at more than 25 locations. Through its dedicated team of cancer care professionals, the Levine Cancer Institute continues to serve as a source of state-of-the-art oncology care and cancer research in North Carolina and the southeastern United States. The Levine Cancer Institute under the Atrium Health Banner, is proud to be accredited as an integrated cancer network by the Commission on Cancer of the American College of Surgeons. Levine Cancer Institute. Cancer care close to home. Hi, my name is Steve Riggs. I am chair of our Commission on Cancer Committee, serving in this role since 2019. In 2005, we began as a four-site integrated network system. We have grown to our current size of eight. I live out of CMC, Maine, which is often considered the mothership. We see about half of our annual 11,000 cases here in Center City. Our vision, however, is quite different or has expanded to include the additional seven sites. Our focus continues to be on moving into the communities, understanding their local needs, and delivering multidisciplinary patient-focused care within these communities in collaboration with providers and the resources that a robust Commissional Cancer Committee can deliver. Uh, good morning. I'm uh, Josh Hill. I'm the program director for the NAPRC here at um, LCI uh, Atrium Health. Um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about our colorectal program. Um, I've been here for 10 years and uh, when I first started uh, it was uh, just one building that was being built and we are now building our third building. So there has been really rapid growth. A few years ago, we decided to really formalize that and apply for our national accreditation um, at the, for the NAPRC and really kind of showcase what we have here. And so we have always had really, really strong multidisciplinary support amongst radiation oncology, medical oncology, and surgical oncology um, and colorectal. Um, and so we've um, really been able to show that and really showcase kind of like those you know providers, but then also all of the ancillary services that we have. And so you know showing that we have a really strong kind of supportive care, palliative medicine, um, and just you know basically kind of that big picture that helps to take care of our patients in the colorectal cancer realm. Hi, I'm Dr. Amanda Eckenrod. I'm one of the surgeons here at Atrium Health Cleveland and Levine Cancer Institute. And I'm the director of our Breast Health Center here. Uh, we are excited to, um, about our accomplishment of NAPBC accreditation we just achieved last fall. And in addition to that, we have uh, full service oncology here, uh, medical oncology, radiation oncology, and breast surgery work out of this space. Uh, we also have full-time nurse navigation here and uh, social work to support our patients. And we are proud that all of our nurses are chemo bio certified. LCI Cleveland is located in Shelby, North Carolina, which is about 40 miles west of Charlotte and our uh, parent organization. Uh, over the last um, seven or eight years, we have transitioned from being a practice of uh, six to seven general surgeons who all 
did a little bit of breast cancer care as part of their general practice to now having uh, three general surgeons, including myself, who focus very heavily on breast cancer care as a large proportion of our uh, patient volume. Here in Shelby, we do serve a fairly rural patient population, so it is really valuable to have cancer care closer to home for those patients, as well as just with the distance. Even some of our more affluent patients are very overwhelmed with the thought of having to drive into Charlotte, which is a much larger metropolitan area. It is a huge blessing for our patients of all walks of life to be able to receive their cancer care close to home. I'm uh, Dr. Raghava Induru. I'm one of the medical oncologists working at uh, Living Cancer Institute in Abomar, located in Stanley County. We're a part of uh, Atrium Health. One of the uh, unique uh, uh, services we offer at our site, being you know uh, Stanley County, the rural community, and uh, we're about um, uh, 60 minute drive to Charlotte. We were able to offer some unique services like um, uh, senior oncology service with the focus on identifying elderly patients who are um, still in good health, diagnosed with cancer, and are actively pursuing uh, treatment for those cancers. We have a really healthy elderly community here in this uh, town, as well as their hardworking community for whom being treated closer to home in a comprehensive manner that we are um, maintaining their life while we treat for their cancer was really important. This was really uh, a truly a remarkable effort from all disciplines coming together to take care of our vulnerable elderly population to give them the best uh, during their cancer journey. My name is Meg Steiner. I am a breast oncologist here at LCI Cabrera. I have really grown to love this patient population. It's very diverse. I feel definitely a cross section of the United States as a whole. We have you know, a great network to support quality. Uh, for example, we are our own NAPB site and we have been, have been for over 10 years. I think that has allowed us to really engage with the multidisciplinary team on a regular basis and ensure that we are adhering to quality standards that are um, that are enforced on a local level and also on a national level. We also have dedicated nurse navigators that are truly experts in how to support uh, women and men going through breast cancer. And I think that that is its own specialty truly. And I feel like my nurse navigators teach me something new every single day. And so I'm very, very lucky to have them. Our nurses, our pharmacists, our infusion nurses are angels from heaven, truly. I, my patients just absolutely adore them. So I'm, I'm sure that I'm missing people. I just can't believe the team that we're able to, to offer to our patients so close to their homes. Hi, I'm Dr. Deba Sarma. I'm one of the breast surgical oncologists at LCI, and I'm the breast surgical site um, director for the Union West location. Here we are on the third floor of our medical office building, which is where LCI Union West is housed, and we'll step on in. The really nice thing about um, what we've been able to create in the Union West space is, again, a very um, large multidisciplinary um, approach to breast cancer care. So one of the really nice things from a surgical perspective is when we moved here and opened our doors in January of 2022, um, we actually now not only do the typical standard needle localizations, but we also brought in Savvy Scout technology, which is a really nice way of localizing tumors without the needle. So we started that here um, again in January and that has been taken off really well. I'd say about three weeks ago, we were able to ask, um, offer pool capping for our patients, which again is a huge asset for so many of our um, patients um, when they get through chemotherapy. So again, we have the capacity for 18 um, infusion chairs. We are expanding you know, at, on an as-needed basis. We have the capacity eventually for 28, which is also fantastic. Our mission has always been to bring care closer to home, and I think we've really been successfully doing that. We're excited to again keep growing. We've been able to really expand and the whole point is care closer to home. Uh, 
I have been the cancer liaison physician for over 20 years and I've really very much enjoyed this position. In fact, uh, many years ago, I was involved with the commission on deciding what the standards for CLPs ought to look like. And in fact, what we've really gotten to the point of saying is use the National Cancer Database to inform care of patients in your own community and try and improve care using that data. So I was recently on a round table through the Commission on Cancer a couple of weeks ago, broadcast throughout the nation, and I was asked, how have you used the NCDB data to improve care? And I would specifically point to two of our institutions in our network. One of which had significant issues associated with uh, gastrectomy and uh, survivals after gastrectomy. We used that information to inform how we provided critical care in that institution, and ultimately uh, the provider makeup of the individuals at that institution. We now do extremely well at that institution. Another one is we used our NAPBC data to look at margin positivity rates of one of our systems, and they were too high. Well, ultimately that informed who's, who was doing breast surgery at that uh, institution. We also looked at the pathology support and the radiology support. They are now well within uh, boundaries and guidelines that we would hope to see. And they have a new group of pathologists and a new group of radiation uh, radiologists. So those are the kinds of things that we use to inform how we take care of patients in our community. Now, as chair of the Commission on Cancer for the state of North Carolina, it's been my privilege to try and support uh, other cancer programs throughout the state as well. So that's my role. Now, the other great part about it is, is we've gotten to be a large integrated network. I do have the help of Dr. Christopher Corso, who's a highly analytic radiation oncologist who works at the Pineville facility uh, as sort of co-CLP. Levine Cancer Institute. Levine Cancer Institute. Cancer care close to home. And cancer care closer to home. Levine Cancer Institute. Cancer care close to home. Cancer care close to home. Cancer care close to home. Cancer care close to home.